Let us try to understand how to find out the beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying point load as well as uniformly distributed load. Figure shows the simply supported beam carrying this point load. So point load of 15 kN then 20 kN and there is a uniformly distributed load of 10 kN per meter. The meaning of uniformly distributed load is that for 1 meter length the load that is acting is 10 kN then for 2 meter length the load that is acting will be 10 multiplied by these two that is 20 kN. So the UDL will convert it into point load so 10 into 2 and it will be acting at the center of 2 meter length that is 1 meter. Now let us try to understand how to find out this RA and RB by applying the conditions of equilibrium. The first condition of equilibrium that will apply is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. Upward forces are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. RA is acting in the upward direction, RB is also acting in the upward direction. So both these forces they are positive whereas 15 then this 20 kN and is converted UDL into point load that is 10 into 2 that is 20 kN. All these three forces they are acting in the downward direction so they are considered as negative and therefore we can say that RA plus RB is equal to 55 kN that is the summation of this 15, 20 and this 20. Now apply the another condition of equilibrium. We will take moment about point A equal to 0, summation of moments about point A is equal to 0 by assuming the conventions that clockwise moments they are considered as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative. Now start with this RB. This RB will produce anti-clockwise moment about A. So from B up to A the perpendicular distance is 4. So minus RB into 4 will be our first term that we have shown over here. Similarly this 10 into 2 that is the UDL which we have converted into point load will produce a clockwise moment about A and the perpendicular distance are this 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is total 3 meter from this point up to point A so that is and as it is a clockwise it is positive so that we have considered over here this point load will of 20 kN will also produce a clockwise moment so 20 and from point D up to point A perpendicular distance is 1 plus 1 that is 2 meter so that is shown over here and similarly this 15 kN will also produce a clockwise moment about A so it is positive so 15 into perpendicular distance from C up to A is 1 so 15 into 1 is a clockwise moment and therefore it is positive so all these three moments they are positive whereas RB is, produce the, is producing the anti-clockwise moment and therefore it is considered as negative. Now transfer this negative term on the other side so it will become minus RB into 4 will become positive and the summation of all these is 115 is equal to RB into 4. So 115 divided by 4 will be value of RB. So RB is 28.75 kilometer. Now we can substitute this value of RB in equation 1. From equation 1, we can say that RA is nothing but equal to what? 55 minus RB. And now substitute the value of RB that is 28.75. So you will get the value of RA that is 26.25 kN. So in this way, we can find out the beam reaction in case of simply supported beam carrying point load as well as the uniformly distributed load.